Okay, the church is standing on in vitro fertilization. Um, now, the Roman Catholic Church has like a perfect, what do I want to say, a perfect outline, um, which is called a set of dogmas and teachings in, or doctrine. On um, <clears throat> on uh, on perfectly harmonious um, faith and morals, which uh, of course they they themselves don't live up to um, these days, and uh, a virgin mother appeared and said that they fall short by one third among the clergy. <clears throat> then she said, I think it was back in 1929. Is that right? Yeah. And, um, anyways, but, but so, in vitro fertilization is considered. To be immoral, and um, it's not something that they uh, want to see happen. Although they probably invented it, you know, um, but they discourage it. So they kind of have. Uh, they've been known to lead a uh, to have a double conscience and lead a double life, and that is due to infiltrations within the church. But the Church of Christ is somehow um, speaking through through all of this uh, double-mindedness it speaks to us to us through um, the teachings of faith and morals and so anyways um, the the reason I don't remember where I learned this but the reason behind uh, disallowing for in vitro fertilization is not um, to bar the conceptions, that is to say the children, from, from coming to church. So the, the offspring are not to be marginalized and barred from coming to church and treated like as though they were condemned. They're not to be kept from the font of, um, you know, the baptismal fonts or the sacraments. Um, and it, it would be highly immoral for the Roman Catholic clergy to discriminate against any child. The fact of the matter is, though, that in vitro fertilization is not because it makes um, the uh, the conception the conceived child immoral, nor does it make the parents immoral for any other reason than that there are many um, eggs that are fertilized all at once and that the parents are not permitted to raise all those fertilized eggs. They're only permitted to raise um, maybe one or two of them. Um, the, the eggs that were, um, that were essentially placed back into uh, the mother's womb. So because, it's because of the the, the fertilized eggs which are abandoned by the parents. That is, that is the only reason. That's the biggest reason that in vitro fertilization is um, more than just incorrect, you know, and, and could, uh, because it leads to, it makes, it makes the, the fertilized eggs which are abandoned extremely vulnerable to um, to the to the hands of the wicked and and believe me there are desperately wicked people 
um, at work on uh, on these um, abandoned embryos. However, um, you know, many of them are um, are placed with loving parents, but many of them are not. So that is that is the biggest and really only setback where it comes to our loving creator. And as far as, um, um, you know, marginalizing children who were born to loving parents or to any set of parents, um, the Roman Catholic Church uh, has um, no right to do that. And the Lord does not approve of the, ad the secularized attitude that would discriminate against young children and keep them from the baptismal fonts. And the Lord does not hold to any secular attitude, worldly attitude, that would discriminate against the young. The, the murder of the young is not tolerable. And neither are any um, murderous attitudes that impose um, questions about another person's existence. No one has the right to question another person's existence. God is the author and end of all life.